everybody, this is Liran from Artlist. If you haven't seen the Refer Your Friends commercial, now is the time to pause this video and go watch it. Link is in the description below. Today we're going to talk about set design, lighting, recording sound, green screen, and the post-production we did for that commercial. But before we start, hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more content like this. We also have a great giveaway, so watch the video till the end. Now, let's jump in. Today, we're on the set for the friend to friend commercial. This is the set for Jane. She's a fashion vlogger and an artless user. To deepen her character, we did some special artwork. For example, we have some album artwork right here, these two posters from our site with added Easter eggs of titles like Tell Your Friends and Lifetime of Music. Overall, this set is very poppy, a lot of vibrant colors as you would expect from a fashion vlogger. For the backlight, we use the Westcott Flex RGB light to separate our subject from the background. For the key light, we had the 120D aperture light with the snoot to focus the light on our subject and to eliminate any spills on the back wall. Of course, we also worked with the available light, the practical light, which is the windows here. And to get a nicer look, softer look from outside, we had a diffuser sitting on the window. And for our last touch, we had the Ari Sky panel set on an orange light to give us a nice sunset vibe. We also recorded sound for this production, which meant we had to dry up this space. To make this room sound like a real bedroom, we had to spread acoustic panels to eliminate echoes. To record the sound, we used the Sennheiser Lavalier mic and a Rode shotgun mic. Next set. For this set, we also did some special artwork. What we did here, this is a set for a pro filmmaker, probably did some features in his life. For example, we have those three posters. We're talking about the friend to friend program. You can win a lifetime subscription. So you have Act of Love, Friends Matters. So these are nice little Easter eggs we did. When it comes to lighting the scene, we've used the specular spiffy gears. We added some yellow gels to them to give a nice color contrast to the filmmaker, which was lit with a daylight temperature. We also built this editing pro station. For example, we have the micro panel by Blackmagic Design for coloring. We has three monitors and a big screen TV. To light up our filmmaker, we've used two lights. The main light, which is the key light, we use the 120D aperture light and pop our filmmaker out of the frame. And of course, most of the editing rooms have a little bit of color. We use the Westcott RGB as a fill light to our filmmaker. This is it for this set. Now let's talk a little bit about green screen. For this sequence, we decided to go with a green screen instead of filming on location. This gave us the flexibility to choose different backgrounds and it also saved us some time. When working with a green screen, you need to take these next few things into consideration. Stretch your green screen as much as possible so you don't get any wrinkles that can create shadows on your green screen. Light your green screen as even as possible to get the best results when you key out your green screen in post-production. Don't place your subject close to your green screen. That will create green light spills on your subject and that will cause some problems in post-production. To avoid that, just place your subject as far as you can from the green screen. Next thing, use backlight to better separate your subject from the green screen. Try to film on high shutter speeds to avoid any motion blur created by your subject moving around. And needless to say, but we're gonna still say it, avoid any green clothes or green accessories. We created this transition to illustrate our character's close friendship. After all, this is a commercial for referring your friends. We've built those two sets in a way that the camera could easily move between them. All the rooms between those sets were actually made in Cinema 4D, and the city background and all the people in these rooms were composited in After Effects. To give that transition a little bit more style, we added some optical flares from Video Copilot. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, slap that amazing like button, hit that subscribe button, so you'll never miss another video from us. Now let's talk about that giveaway. Ooh, we got something good for you guys. One lucky person will get 
nice t-shirt and a one-year subscription to Artlist. All you need to do is hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment down below what was the best information you've got from this video. The winner will be announced in the next video. By the way, here are our five lucky winners from the last giveaway. Please contact us via the email in the description or just private message us on Instagram. I'll see you in the next video. Stay creative.